Hello guys, welcome to cPanel tutorial for beginners. In this course, I will teach you step by step usage of cPanel and also I'm going to teach you how you can use cPanel to manage your site files, database and also I'm going to teach you practically how you can upload the website and how you can make a backup of your website. You have any type of website like a PHP based website, WordPress website. Uh, static website like HTML, CSS based website. I will teach you everything with practically. So before moving on the cPanel, we need to know what is cPanel. The cPanel is uh, cPanel is an online Linux based graphical interface called GUI. Used a control panel to simplify website and server management. CPanel allows you to publish a website, manage domains, organize web files, create email accounts and more. CPanel has two interfaces, a user interface called CPanel and a server management interface called web host manager. It's short form of the uh, interface uh, web host uh, manager called uh, WHM. This is a combination allows user to manage their website and supplies hosting provides with tools to manage the server. Let's see. It's free. It's free. No. CPanel is not free because it is a third party application. However, most hosting providers include the cPanel in their hosting plans at no extra cost. There are some providers who will supply cPanel free for first year and then charge a fee on subsequent. Look at that, the companies that are providing you the cPanel or you can say that the hosting and domains. So I have been using Bluehost so I'm gonna teach you step by step how you can use Bluehost uh, to manage your files inside the cPanel. You need to buy a domain name and hosting from Bluehost or you can buy a domain name or hosting from HostGator. You can select any company as you want. If you have any company web hosting uh, cPanel you need to follow on my this course. I will teach you everything step by step. So I have a hosting from uh, Billy Host. So I'm going to teach you how you can uh, manage the website files inside the cPanel. So in the next lecture, I'm going to teach you everything step by step. So thank you very much for watching. See you in the next lecture.